Yeah, we'll talk about that. Hey everyone, I am Jaden. And I am Noah. And we are the Super Game Bros. We are back for part 10 of Crash Bandicoot 3, or Crash Bandicoot Warped. No, as you can see, we're doing great. We got 21 relics, only 10 to go. We got 37 gems, only 10 to go. 88% done, so let's get into it. Uh, I think we did this one, right? This was the... Last yeah, episode that one. was extremely productive. I know, I got like nine levels done. Okay, so Future Frenzy, and what's this one? Oh, this is the... Oh, no, Tomb Waiter. I do not like Tomb Waiter. That's not going to be a fun one to relic. So Future Frenzy, I guess, is the first level, so we'll go ahead and do this now. Future Frenzy, one of the two levels in this game with an alternate entrance which is this one right here that I believe I have enough relics to do. So we'll go ahead, we'll get the two gems in Future Frenzy, and then we'll get the relic in Future Frenzy, and then we'll get the relic in uh, Tomb Waiter, and we'll go from there. Well, that was uh, that was a miss. That was interesting. Let me tell you about this. Uh, oh, uh, I'm playing Dishonored 2 currently yep, on our yep. channel. Yep. And uh, I will tell you about this really fun mechanic. First of all, the powers in Dishonored 2 are very lackluster. Like, I'm I'm actually pretty depressed about it. Oh, uh, wow. But they added this one mechanic late game that is cooler than any power. Oh, really? And it is uh, a t basically a, a time machine. It's like a little heart-shaped watch-type futuristic odd-looking mechanism in your hand, and you hold it there, and then you can go uh -huh. between the present and the past. Like and, that one uh, mission in Titanfall? Like Two? that one mission in Titanfall, exactly. But there's also a uh, a that. cool okay. mechanic with it That's where you fair. can press a button and it flips open like a little some like glass panes that look like a window, and it paints what's on the other time. So you can basically look at both times at the same moment, and um, you know go behind guards and then travel into the past and grab that guard and kill him and then travel back into the future and then move behind the other guard and then do the same thing. It just oh, okay. makes you OP. Yeah, like the thing in Titanfall. That's basically what the thing It was Titanfall different does. in Titanfall. You couldn't see. Um, you couldn't. Oh, but... wow, that was very quick. Actually, no, I think they, I think the people did leave, like, little impressions. Um... Yeah, so now I have to go oh, back. Oh, I to thought the there was no Noah. floor. Um, anyway, um, yeah, no, it's just a fun game. I've been enjoying it. What else oh, did boy. I start? I started um, South Park 2 again. Not again. I started again. South Park 2. And, did you? Well, it is actually technically again because I have played it before. Did you record the first one? Yeah. I have no memory of that. Yes. I did. It's already. All uploaded and whatnot. Um, That's weird. so. Not are those public. not long games then? Like ten hours. Oh wow! I, I mean, they're RPGs. Well, I expected longer. The second one is longer. They say, like five second hours one longer. Is longer. I mean, that's still under twenty hours for a whole sort of RPG game. I'm honestly surprised about. It. I mean, like, I didn't expect them to be like hundred-hour games, but I certainly expected longer than ten. Yeah, but I mean, like, I'm just doing the literally just the main story too. Oh like, boy. No side content whatsoever, pretty much. Okay, that's fair. You that's know. fair. Yeah. Yeah. And they're not that deep. Of, I mean, they are shockingly deep, but they're not like, you know, the deepest games I've ever played, or the deepest gotcha. RPGs I've ever played. Uh, but they are very funny. I am just find them uh, unique, for sure. Gotcha. I just get the feeling I'm doing this wrong. Like, I don't know why, but I, I just feel like I'm doing this level wrong in some way. Is this... This can't be the beginning. Like, just having to go all the way back like this, I just... I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Nah. Anyway. Um, as long as it works. Well, you know, that's... So, I mean, well, so the powers are disappointing, but how is Dishonored 2 overall? Um, I mean, the levels are really fun. I think that, they, you know, it's exactly like the first one where it's these small open maps 
and you find clues, uh -huh. and there's a lot of optional stuff going on. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And I'm sure you can so beat the whole game without killing anybody, just like the first one. Yeah, yep, absolutely. It's as deep as you make it, you know, and they, what I like it is they hold your hand a lot more in this one. Oh, they okay. They will help you, not like a lot, but yeah. it's like kind of like Deathloop. How they'll give you hints and they'll keep track of the important information you oh, pick up. Okay, death loop, got and it. And so, yeah, and so, which, that's what I love their method of uh, hinting at their puzzles and whatnot through like notes and objects in the world, and then uh -huh. they uh, just tell you that it came from that note or highlight it very brightly, like in uh, the Resident Evil remakes did that, you know. We just look at the documents and look for the highlighted words. Yeah, yeah, that's that is very useful. Um, the story is, you know, it's okay. It's dishonored. Um, it's okay. Yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, it's layered. It's interesting. I'm just not crazy, crazy into it. I don't like the villain. Gotcha. Um, That's Delilah. Delilah, yeah. Delilah. Super powered Aunt Delilah. Uh, also, I'm playing as uh, the queen. Oh. She was the princess in the first game. Yes. Uh. So. Every I time guess... I played it, I've always played as her. Oh, you never I feel played like... as uh, um, Corvo? Hold on, don't tell me. No. Corvo. What's his name. I just don't feel like, uh, you know, I feel like she's the queen. It's about her. I mean, you know, I, um, I don't know. I, it just makes more sense to me to have Corvo frozen and it's like, okay, she's oh, got to step up. Well, whoever you don't pick is frozen. Well, I, I don't know. I know nothing about the game. I never played it. It's very funny. Talk about probably annoying, annoying stories. Uh, for you is uh, like people. Well, I mean, uh, you know, it was. Oh man, it was the year Dishonored 2 came out. The year Dishonored 2 came out. You bought me Dishonored 2 for Christmas. Um, I, I think it was Christmas. You bought it for me as a Christmas gift, and then I have never played it. Wait, so you have it on disc? Yes, yes, I do. Yeah, I that's, mean, you, ins that's insulting. Yeah. Yeah, you bought it for me because at the time when Dishonored 2 came out, I had j I had just finished playing the first one. Um, so I was like, oh, dude, Dishonored 2, I played the first one. It was great. I'm super excited for that. And you got it for me for Christmas. I'm 90% sure the year it came out because you got me a new copy. Um, and I never, I just never, never played it. Never picked it up. God. You're a bad brother. Yes, I am. Oh god. Oh. oh man, I'm gonna have to do those in the time trial too. Oh man, but you know what makes me so upset? Because I'm playing through Dishonored 2 and I love it. And that just makes me think about Redfall and makes me so upset. Because Redfall isn't good? I will say that I have played the tutorial of Redfall. I have not played multiplayer. I have not played any farther. Uh, I have seen some gameplay, but not much. And to me, it doesn't look—it doesn't look like a horrible, horrible game. It's just buggy and bland. You yeah, know. Yeah, but that's a problem. That's the problem. And from this company, that shocked me. You know, I don't. Yeah, I mean, um, um, I don't want to see. Them I guess not speaking in terms of. Um, it. Not speaking in terms of uh, what's that word, Noah? Um, commercial success because I don't know how their games have done commercially in the past, but in terms of just oh I didn't have a didn't have a mask there. In terms of just um, actual quality, damn it, uh, Arcane's always hit it out of the park. I feel like they've always had really good quality games. Yeah, every Look single at the one Dishonored of their games series, I've played Deathloop, is uh, Prey was popular. Deathloop, Prey is amazing. Um, damn it. Are we missing one? Missing... Dis well, the two Dishonored, Deathloop and Prey, I think that's it for them before Redfall. Right, but that's like four or five games in a row that are just fantastic. And 
you know, Redfall, it's not that great, and even if it is, I hope that, um, even, I mean, even if it is that bad, uh, I hope that it doesn't hurt the company too much. I hope that Bethesda and Xbox keep them going. Yeah, I mean, you know, one, one miss after at least four hits, I feel like, is something you would hope would be forgiven. Whoa, so Not next good. week there's a uh, another state of play, and this one is going to be the one with uh, Mortal Kombat 1 gameplay, and Jeff Keighley and Ed Boon are going to be there. Um, oh, I, So I, I assume we'll be seeing a lot of big name games. Now, I know this level has an invincibility section, I'm pretty sure, so I'm wondering if, if it's going to matter for me missing those mm. boxes. Damn it. So we were talking about it the other day, but again, in that stream, I want to see the Wonder Woman game. I want to hear from Monolith. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially after Lord of the Rings Gollum came out and... It has nothing you know, to do with Monolith. pretty much hating on it. No, no, but it makes me reminisce and nostalgic for uh, yeah, it's like, remember Middle Earth. Lord, damn it. Remember when Lord of the remember Rings Remember when games Lord of the Rings good? games were good? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, Not even good, know. but some of the best games. Like, I don't know if you've ever actually played through either of them. Uh, I played... Uh, if you have not, we could always record those. Cause those I played sh probably five hours of Shadow of Mordor. And then, um, I don't know what happened. I just stopped. That's fair. Um, I just loved them. I thought they were a great, great game. You know, that Lord of the Rings uh, epic lore... And storytelling with the um, Arkham combat, and then I don't the, know, the only system. the only thing that makes me hesitant to play them uh, and record them is they're pretty long games, aren't they? They are long. Yeah, they're just options. You know, we always God got options. It. Want more options? God damn it! For instance, I'm looking for another game already because I beat Tales of Iron. Yep, right there, invincibility. God damn it, man. I, like, that every mask, weird. every mask I got and lost instantly. Wow. See, you had I a don't lot know. of problems with that the first time through. I don't know what to do about those guys. Like, I don't think I can, if I say... Uh, I guess I just have to wait. Noah? You got yeah. silent yeah, on yeah, me. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Long I guess I just have to listen. wait. I have no idea how to take those guys down. Hmm. Damn it. Ooh. I thought I could beat it. Yeah. I'm just dying to impatience right now because these are... <clears throat> oh, it's like yeah, so. The game is telling me I have to wait and I don't want to wait. Right. So, uh, you know, another Mortal Kombat is coming out, and what always happens correct. when another Mortal Kombat is coming out is a lot of fans in the Mortal Kombat community make up a lot of fake leaks yeah, and stuff like that to just mix it all up and get people upset. Of course. And it makes me upset. Yeah. Because I want <laughs> to know. they're succeeding. <laughs> yeah, they so succeed at what, what they do because they'll just like, what do they say, they're, uh, They'll say things like, oh, these people are in it, these people are not, or this mechanic is being added, or this mechanic is not, something like that. Oh, God. Oh, I'm just boy. Excited. Also, right. I'm still holding out for the fact that there might be a 2v2 mode. Uh, yeah, you can keep holding out. It's not going to happen. I am holding out, just like I'm holding out for co-op in Spider-Man. And you're just, uh... Holding out to know, not die uh, and not doing well. Pessimistic. That's me. That is me. Holding you don't believe, uh... You don't believe so Tag Mode's coming in to Mortal Claus, Kombat. I don't believe in Mortal Kombat. And, uh... 
uh, co-op Spider-Man. Damn it. Look, man, you be Peter, I'll be Miles. Um, uh, no. You wanna switch? Um, I don't know. I'm just gonna play by myself, because that's all the game will let me do. <laughs> it's also He's funny knowing, um... <laughs> Oh, no, what about I, Gotham I Knights? Not, you I don't do think, think Gotham Knights to put that. the pressure on Insomniac to make it co-op? I mean, it did not get great reviews, so no, I don't think they feel any pressure at all. Hey, hey, hey. It got great user reviews. By you? Uh, actually, I feel like a lot of the fan reception, the people who actually played it, like it. I think the reviewers play the games, too, Noah. Yeah, but they're like critics. Damn it. Yeah. You know, they're the people um, who are like, this game is not good because it's not Batman Arkham. And here's yeah. why it's not Batman Arkham. Those are, uh, yeah, that's, there's probably at least one review that went like that, yeah. Um. Oh my god. Jaden, who is your favorite Mortal Kombat character? Of all time? Yeah, I guess like your go-to. That's a tough one. Oh, come on, really? This is not a good run, brother. Whoa. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Whatever, man. I hate this. I've always hated this level. This level sucks. The only thing I've got going for me is this is technically the last future level in the game. So once I do this, I'm done with the future levels. Because I accidentally somehow found myself in the fifth world last time and did a level there. Nope. Still, mm. still not possible. Still not possible. So I don't know why I keep trying. Ugh. This one's this level sucks, Noah. I hate this level. This is not gonna be a very productive part. No, we didn't think so, cause you know you were dreading this level. Yeah, I've been dreading this level since I started the Crash series. See, and this is one of these parts in this game that's annoying. We have to ride this thing, cause the timer still counts down, and that's it's stupid. like. Well, it, I mean, obviously that's factored into the, the relics, you know? It's not like it's not factored in, because that would be stupid. Uh, but it is just annoying that it exists anyway, and I hate it. Oh, I jumped over that. I've seen more crash on this channel than I, I'm ready for in a lifetime, I think. No, there's another game after this. I know. I'm j I know. I and know. let me tell you, that's the longest game of the series. I um, know. Oh, wait, really? Oh, God. Dude, what the yeah. fuck? <laughs> oh, my God. That was dumb. Maybe we should wait on Crash 4 and play something else. Because um, technically, after this one, we do finish... A the, single game, a, which a is... A disc! A <laughs> disc! It yeah, is three games! Disc. It's technically a single game. I I mean, I would say no, it's not. It's I, all on one disc, it's a game. Yeah, but there's three separate trophy lists, so it's three games. That's Check true. And, and PlayStation made. does that weird thing where it downloads them as separate um, icons sometimes, does it? It doesn't do that in this game. But like, um, uh, I don't know, because I've Yakuza, never... I don't own this um, digitally. We have Yakuza... The Yakuza Remastered it, Collection like, or whatever? Collection, yeah, something like that. Yeah. But it has uh, Yakuza 3, 4, and 5. Uh -huh. And when you put the disc in, it has you then choose which one you want to play, and you download that one, and it becomes its own icon. And then they're, like, all there. Yeah, that's the thing in uh, some of those PS3, like, classic trilogies. They have, like, the Ratchet and Clank Collection and stuff. They're all... S oh, no, that one actually it is one disc. 
I don't know. Makes I, more but sense, I have played though, games. I have played like games. Like having like it all on the same. But I guess these older games are smaller too. Um, That's what you do. You wait. Yeah, I know. Because then it won't matter. Because I should get the third mask before I encounter another enemy. Because it's right over here. I okay. press I okay. press the double I jump button, I propose. swear. For the... Okay, what game? In between uh, the Insane Trilogy and Crash 4. Oh, okay, what is it? Um, Either the Ratchet and Clank reboot or Rift Apart. Um, well, it definitely wouldn't be Rift Apart because I haven't played the reboot. Yeah, that's fair, but the reboot is, I think, pretty much identical to the original game. Yeah, but we haven't played the original game on this channel either. So it's not oh, like it's well, not like yeah, we're subjecting I mean, yeah, it's those, not like it's, it's not like we're subjecting content, the but what viewers I'm is to we've both played it as opposed to like a game at least one of us hasn't played. Um you know what I mean? I don't know, but, I yeah, imagine it's still it's like one of our that, favorite that series could, uh, of all time and that I would have fun you know, with it. It never gets old for us, yeah. Yeah, I mean the reboot is a fantastic game. I love it. But it's just, uh, you know, the story of Ratchet and Clank over again and Rift Apart was crazy new. Oh, come on! But we can do both. So, uh, you know, we'll do the reboot and then do Crash 4 probably. Okay. That's fine. So that'll be fun. Fans of all right, all right. more Crash and Ratchet. The true... PlayStation, true PlayStation nerds. Oh. oh, I was saying Ratchet and Clank for the true PlayStation overcrowd. Yeah, I thought you were talking about like the the people, the fans who like the games. True PlayStation fans. Oh my God, we're all true PlayStation fans. If you've made it this sucks. far in the series, you're probably a true PlayStation fan. Yeah, I'll be honest. I don't even think most true PlayStation fans can make it through this series. I feel like it's like I can only take so much of watching this guy be bad at Crash. And I, I feel that on a spiritual level as the guy who's bad at Crash. All that right, is if, fair. I just need to... I mean, I basically... I just... Not even for the sake of time, just for the sake of me getting through the goddamn level, I have to get the invincibility. Because I just, like, I just can't do it. I just cannot do it. I just can't get through this level without being hit. It has been a struggle so far. Ah, oh, man. Okay, so there's two. Okay, don't get hit by that stupid thing. That's what happened last time. Okay. Now, at this point, all I have to worry about is the platforming. Which shouldn't be nice. an issue. What's um? Okay. Are you not able to record tomorrow? Is that why we're recording this today? Uh, that is correct. Yes. Okay. Um. Whoa. I don't care. I don't Whoa. care. Just get to the end. Come on, give me, give me gold, please. Great Thank job. you. God Great damn job. it. God, fuck this level, man. Yeah, that was pretty rough. Oh my god. Like, oh, I spent 24 minutes on this, just one level. And it's, I'll be honest, I thought just getting the gems would be the thing that took forever. But no, it was the relic. Ugh. Well, I knew that would be the case. The gems are usually pretty quick. Because you could um, die and there's no time limit. I mean, I could die, but in some levels I've died a lot. Is the problem. That does happen. And I thought with this level that would be the case. But then it was even like more... <laughs> I don't know if stupid is the right word. Um, That's cool. But more... Oh, hold on, I'm not going to make it. Oh, I made it. 
even more the case, um, I when I actually game. went through and got the gems, I did that so quickly. Like, I got the gems so quickly that I thought, oh, oh, I might actually, I think uh, the time trial is going to take me that long because I, this level is not as bad as I remember. And then I should have gone. I absolutely had the time. Yeah, I thought, yeah. I, as I got the gems, I thought, oh, okay, this level isn't, isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I actually got through it pretty easily for the... Uh, for the gems, didn't die a lot, so I, maybe I think I'll be able to. Yeah, I think I'll maybe. Whoa, that was close. Yeah, I know. I just feel like I've been T waste. I feel like I've been wasting so much time waiting on this goddamn water. That is how this level's designed. Yeah. That one was good. Very quick. Very Thank quick. Thank you. Ooh. Oh boy, nice. I'm not feeling confident. No, but you're also. Uh... Oh come oh, on! No. I had that. I think also it is very key to get the uh, invincibility in this level because, and this is true. Uh, when you have the mask, I'm pretty sure the water does not change. Like, it does not go up. Oh, that is really cool. Yeah, so... Oh, that was well-timed. Thank you. Nope. Uh, yeah. I forgot the mask was there. And also using the tornado spin, uh, really useful in Absolutely. keeping stuff. Oh boy. Wow, that was close. Oh my god, no, I'm freaking out. We're doing a lot better than last time. Wow. Oh, okay, got it. All right, I think I got it. At this point, it's just... Oh, that's the end. Come on, baby. Give me my gold. Give me a gold, please. It lasts so long. Oh, got it. The uh, invincibility. I'll be honest. I thought that level would take me a long time because I that is another level. Like those two right in a row, those two levels are probably my least favorite levels in this entire game. Yeah, they're horrible. Great job, um, though. Yeah, future frenzy and tomb waiter. Not a fan of either. And now, if I just pause real quick, uh, yeah, we're doing good. We got 23. So I, <laughs> I do not have the last bonus level unlocked yet now one of these levels is a plane level that one won't take too long uh there's also another biker level that one right here orange asphalt hopefully will not that take too long that one will take a while i do not think so i think of the like main because there's area 51 the alien one and then there's the main three of the main three i ironically think this is the easiest one i don't know if that's ironic i don't know if that's the right word for it but i i do for whatever reason, think that I... Oh, there's a time crate up there, but it's fine. It's only a second. I think I'm good still. I do think this is the easiest of the biker levels. That's not easy. That's not easy at all. That's not good. That is not... That is a big waste. That is a big time waster. All right, all right, all right, all right. Any time crates? Any time crates? Well, I hope not. All right, just get this boost. Yeah, I also just have no idea. Oh, ah, I think that was only wow. a one second crate, though. Yeah, you like my boost in Noah? That was good. That was good. You're doing great good. so far. Under 40 seconds, still. Ah, uh, I, I don't know. Like, that's another problem is, you know, I don't know what grade is. Absolutely no frame of reference. Because, yeah. Uh, no, nah, that was actually probably the better option there. Yeah, but most are like... 
you know, a minute and some change as gold. Well, yeah, it all it depends on wow. the level. Wow. Go, go, go. Okay, so don't get this ramp. Get the boost behind it. Oh, that sucked. Oh, that was, that was weird. That was a kind of that was a kind of glitch. I feel like because also the ramps boost you in a specific direction. It will change your direction when you hit the ramp. Um. Okay, definitely got to go off that yeah, ramp. Yeah. Okay, I'm I'm right, feeling very yeah. good about this one. I'm feeling very it good about this level. Didn't give you that boost for some reason. Yeah, but I'm fine with it. Come on, give me gold, baby. Give me gold. Because I also just won the race, which is a good sign. Got it. Great job. Oh, first try, baby. First try. I told you, that's the easiest nice, biker level. the time crates kind of painted the best path also. Um, they. I think they try to do that in, in the biker levels. I don't know if they do. And maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe they try, but at least in terms of getting the platinum relic, I absolutely think they do. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, I have no idea how this level's going to go. Absolutely no clue. Um, Noah, after I get the relic in this level, I will unlock another bonus level. The last bonus level. Should I do that bonus level, or should I um, finish this world and then do the bonus level? Oh, that's up to you. I mean, it's your playthrough. It's your playthrough, he says. I'm, I'm, am I playing? That's not good. That was bad. That was bad timing. You can play, catch my playthrough tomorrow night. Your playthrough of what? What's tomorrow night? Uh, oh! Resident Evil. That's right. Damn it. I don't know if there's three Aku Aku Masters, so I'm been, not concerned uh, about getting continuing hit. continuing Resident Evil 4 in VR. Oh, that was barely it. That's weird. I thought we were going to play that on the channel, but I guess not. Nope. Well, not the VR one, but we are playing the fourth one. The remake. Why, I don't know why we want to play that one. If you've already pl oh, yeah, if you've already played it. Uh, they're different. Okay, that's fair. Vastly, actually. Hey, what's that chick's name? Is it Ashley? Is that the chick, like the president's daughter you gotta yeah. save or whatever? Got it. Yeah, in my VR game, I actually just discovered her. She's the same height as me. Um, also, I was sitting down, so I don't know, actually. As Noah the but, player? Yeah, as me the player. Because, <laughs> you know, it's just the height of your thing. And, uh, it's really cool. I have, um, I have two pistols. Right now I just got like a... Did I just that go was through weird. that? That was weird. Right now I just got like a Mauser pistol. Oh, like the like, like the a... robots in Ninja Turtles? That's funny. I was that thinking... That you know, sucked. German... That sucked. That was it, yeah. man. I had the invincibility that I don't think is actually too useful in this one, but the I'm going to get it anyway. shaped pistol. But um, I've also got a rifle and a shotgun. Grenades are uh -huh. on your chest like your right breast you grab oh, them there wow. you pull the pin and chuck them um your pistol is on your you know your, hip, your right hip and then uh oh my god this... your, oh your my god come on right shoulder yep you got a combat knife on your left breast and then uh oh the healing is your left that shoulder. was that was just a bad run all around and so for the longest time, I just I found out when you kill chickens, they drop eggs, and so uh, I was. Oh, just you've been using baking cakes out there. Healing items. Oh. And so I'm just like fighting zombies, shooting them, and I'll pull out an egg. Just pull and out just an egg eat and it. eat it. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's Leon Kennedy, egg eater. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. So funny. See, now I'm not gonna um, get the invincibility. Oh yeah, but the the game is made ridiculously easy because of the VR controls. You know, because what I of mean? the ability like, to teleport is very fast. No, it's not teleport; it's free movement. Oh. But you just—it's fast. You know, it's not slow like the original game because it's as fast as you control it, move and turn. Yeah. Um, Oh, Another come thing on. that's really cool is 
you can move and shoot at the same time. You know, you can oh, hold that is... your is that... shotgun and your pistol at the same time and use them both. Oh, and that then, is cool. Yeah, when I'm like in a really tense situation in one of those where you know they're all coming in from all over the house. Yeah. I'll shoot with my pistol until you know I oh, shoot like three bullets, on. one shotgun bullet, I, and then I, I drop my pistol, pump the shotgun, pick it my pistol back up, and keep shooting both. <laughs> you know what I mean? That is very so cool. Like Something a... that would not really be possible in like a normal game. No, obviously that's not possible whatsoever in a normal game. But it's really funny because I was talking to uh, my friend about the Resident Evil VR experience at first, and I was like, it's a lot harder than it, uh, the original game because reloading, actually reloading the weapons takes forever. But now I've gotten so good and fast at it that it's way faster than the original game. Yeah. And now it just seems easy. And it is not scary. Oh, is that sarcasm? Like it actually is scary? Well, it scary? would be scary if there was danger. But yeah, they're scary. I mean, it's still like the 3D environment. The sound design is great. Everything is so well done. I stand by Capcom makes some of the best VR games out there. Oh, it's actually made by Capcom? Oh, God. I know. I, just, I thought about that right as I said it. I just assumed because it's, because it's all good. their games. And it well, I guess, but I just assume because it's all their games that they made them. But I forget that companies will, you know, toss their licenses to other game companies to develop games. All right, I'm feeling and, good about this uh, one. So yeah, good I have to double it. check that. Oh, that's another platy. Dang, platy. Yeah, platinum relic. So that's three platinums for me. I'm proud of myself, and two of them in the um, the Arabian levels. I think I will finish the main levels and then we'll we'll do that last bonus level. Oh yeah, because this one's not going to take too long either. This one will absolutely take longer than the other one because you actually have to shoot the twin engines on these bombers, which is more annoying. And they're actually moving, unlike the blimps. Uh, so this one might actually take me a couple tries. It says they're developed by Capcom and Armature Games. Okay, so I'm sure that means Armature Games is the developer. Maybe. I don't know much. I don't know anything about armature. Yeah. I know um, that they're comfortable to sit in. That's funny. Thank um, you. Wow, I'm getting my ass kicked in oh, this level. Oh, yeah, but those are, you know, I've played quite a bit of VR games, and those are some of the best made. Because they're exactly what you want. They're, you know, Resident Evil, the complete full game. You can go... Oh, boy. All the same locations. I don't know movement, what to do for this one, Noah. I'll be weapons, honest. Free movement, exactly how you want. There's I a don't boat think... driving section. You can drive that. Oh, that is a thing There's... in the game, yeah. Yep, it's really cool. And you fight a sea monster. You're using a harpoon gun. Yep, I remember that. You have that in your hand and you're shooting. Iconic, at it. iconic scene. Yeah, oh. it was really fun. And we are. Oh come on! I have to, I have to just die now because I accidentally hit a plane, so the uh, time trial clock flew away. Ugh. You like, idiot. Well, no. it's like these guys are damaging me, and they do a lot of damage, so it's like I have to kill them. Yeah. Uh, this I think this play one's going to take longer than I want it to, which is annoying. That is annoying. For you. Oh, is it not annoying for you? I'm not playing. Oh, I'm, I'm but, yeah, I mean, I'm you have content. to watch it. I, I don't know. Oh. So I maybe you're annoyed about watching it. I'll hit that time trial clock. Come on, get it. Okay. Now this guy is dead. Okay. Come on, faster, faster, faster. Faster, faster, faster. I got one speed, Noah. It's not fast enough. Okay. Go ahead and take this out because I can. Kamikaze him. Okay, I've already destroyed three in like six less seconds than it took me to do last time. Yeah, that guy's really far away and he's going farther. Yeah, but again, it's like... Oh, that's a good point. I'm not trying to get platinum here, so I'm not too concerned about it. I yeah, think platinum is so maybe long. around There's like a minute five too. or something. Yeah. 
Okay, got that one. Oh my god, he's so far away. Alright, at this point I'm just going to let the guys shoot me because I need to just go straight for this guy. Oh wow, the, bu the bullets can hit them pretty far. Alright, give me a gold for that one, baby. Come on. Come on, show me a gold. Show me a gold. Got it. Alright. There you go. Alright. Alright. Just took me Just took me uh, one run to get it down. One run and a missed time clock. Alright, only one level left of the main 25, Noah. That's pretty insane, actually. Yeah. And then... It's the insane oh, trilogy. Boy. That is, yeah. A bug... Oh, this one isn't that bad. Oh, oh, oh! This does have the colored gem gauntlet, so I'm going to have to do that. Um, so this will actually be how we end this part, beating the last main level, so I'm pretty I'm pretty proud of that. I think getting getting basically the five worlds done in five parts, along with a couple bonus levels, I'm cool with that. Wow, that oh. was crazy right there. Oh, actually, I guess I'm doing the time trial first and then the gem path because I forgot about the gem path. All right, Noah, we're going to do this first try, Gem. Uh, I'm not crushed, actually. I did not get hit from that. That was, uh, that was a glitch. Like, I still have my mask. Yeah, man, this is where you get the free invincibility. They really hold your hand with this level. Be Weird being the last wow, level of nice. the game that they do this. Like, maybe the first level, you think, but... Alright. Yeah, if I if I I'm gonna be real upset if I don't do this. Okay, just go this way, just Oh oh come on That's gonna that's gonna hurt. Well I think this this is the end, I think. Nope, no it's not. No. Uh, this is the end. Come on, give me my gold. Give me my gold. Nice. Got it. Done, baby. So then to end, I guess to end uh, the main levels of Crash 3, we're now going to get the colored gem gauntlet done. So that's a, a cool way to end this, this main game. That is nice. And I feel like another uh, very... Uh, what's, what, what's the word? Um... Uh, uh, main game? No, in like case I... there's a bonus level? Yeah, the one bonus level. Um, no, what's that, what's that, what's that word? Um, like, I very, I did a lot in this part. What's, what's that word? Productive. This is a very productive part as well. Now, I'm 90% sure I did get the one for all the boxes, so I don't actually have to worry about the boxes. Yep, just get this mask, and I'm golden. You did that at the same time as the time trial, or before? What? The box gem. No, I did that when we beat the level the first time, because there's okay. no boxes in the colored gem route. Ah, uh, there's, a, there's a gap there. Nice. Yep. It's because you happen to go over those boxes. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I was like, oh, that's why they have those boxes there like that. So if you just jump over them, you die. Very smart. Oh, what? No, there's a gap here. The good thing I destroyed Crazy. those boxes. Oh, god damn it. And I think the path is here. But I'm going to run up and get this checkpoint and two of these crates. Nice. I hope uh, they give me a Firefly at the beginning of this. Although, I think that these are more platforming challenges, um, so the mask might not end up helping me too much. But, I mean, they're going to shoot some darts at me, so... Nope, there's some enemies. Okay. A lot of darts, though. Oh, come on. Oh, nope, nope, Good nope. thing you had two. Good thing I had... Well, just one, but yeah. Yeah, and I don't think there's a checkboard in this, so I do have to beat them all in one go. 
Oh, I can just go. Yeah, the spike traps. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if that's the re yeah. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if that's no. the remake. I don't know if that's the remake or not. The fact that those spike traps, you could just run around. Oh, great! This one's side scrolling and moving platforms. You know, I hate moving platforms and platforms that fall oh, down if you stand on them too long. So you gotta you, you gotta be perfect with your timing. And spike traps that still don't really scare me. Oh! Oh! Okay, got it. <laughs> got it, Noah. They almost no, nothing you on scary that there. One. They they almost got me, but I'm too good. And I think this is the last section before the gem. Yeah, because I think this just oh, takes wow. you to the gem. I don't think there's actually another platforming section. But I could be wrong. Nope, I'm just done. Wow, that was way easier than the last gem gauntlet. Oh, oh, this this is a dick move. Come on. Imagine, imagine screwing up that jump. Although at that, that point... That would be messed up. Although at that point, I would have had the gem, so I would have just gone through to end the level like normal. Hey, so we are good, guys. We got ever look at that. 27 relics, 40 gems, 97%. Noah, we're 97%. We've got one bonus That's level left. Good. One bonus How level left, and then we are done. Gems? And we are done. One bonus level left. Anyway, hold on. I'm spacing out. Hey, but guys, if you enjoyed... seven gems? I hey, don't understand. Guys, Hey guys, if you enjoyed uh, if you enjoyed watching part 10 of Crash Bandicoot 3, another very productive part in my humble opinion, then, you know, leave a like, uh, then comment and subscribe. If you, um, if, if you are like Noah and you're also confused that there's seven gems left, even though uh, we only have one level left, then leave a dislike and then comment and subscribe anyway. Uh, if you like watching us play through games, uh, we're playing through a whole bunch of other games on our channel. We've got, uh, uh, we upload five days a week, Monday through Friday. Go ahead and check uh, any of those other games out. Noah also plays games by himself. I mean, this in this video, he would not shut up about Dishonored 2. We were all thinking it was annoying, but he was going to keep on talking. Uh, that was a joke, Noah. Love you, brother. Uh, we're not actually brothers. Let's all and, remember uh, that Jaden yeah. has a copy of Dishonored 2. <laughs> he got the year it came out for free from his brother, but he never played it. Uh, uh, anyway, guys. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.